My dear friends, we love you so very much. Each one of you wants to be known as a kind and loving soul. We in the heavens know that you already are. Even if you're an angry human being, underneath the layers of protection, we behold only the truth of your sweet and sensitive heart. You never need to prove your worth or goodness to the heavens. We already see you, often more accurately than you see yourselves. You are enough exactly as you are. You never need to please a soul to be worthy of love. When your service to others comes from joy, it comes from God. When your service to others comes from duty, from a sense of wanting to get them to love or acknowledge your goodness, or from guilt, then it comes from ego. There is nothing wrong with ego. It is part of who you are. It is a container so to speak, for the greater self, much as water is contained by the glass. The glass helps shape and define the water, but the water is free. It evaporates into steam, turns into rain, falls in the river, and runs to the ocean only to repeat the cycle again. It is only contained for a short time in that one glass. Much as the love that sources you is only in this body and personality and ego for a lifetime, before it expands once again into a greater awareness. The water remembers the shape, color, and texture of the glass it once thought it was. Your soul will remember the personality it once was as well, but know itself as so much more. How could you ever feel not good enough if you truly knew that you are nothing less than the love that creates universes? shaped in seven billion bodies, minds, and personalities, and all of creation, but always the same love. In every moment of your lives, you are attempting to remember this love. You have never failed God. You have never disappointed the heavens, for in truth you cannot fail that which you are made of. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels